today, me and my baby hairs are going to do a contouring tutorial. So, face contouring is something that's really popular and actually really amazing. Like, once you contour um, really well, it's it just turns out amazing and you can really slim your face and bring out the better features in your face. So, we're going to start off by doing that today. First, what I'm going to do is apply a base coat of foundation. You want to have like a good even foundation to apply everything you're recontouring with. So, I'm going to start off with my Rimmel Stay Matte, my Rimmel London Stay Matte um, foundation. This is the ivory color. And I'm going to mix it with this um, Nuance Salma Hair Liquid Foundation. Um, just to make a better color that match for my face. So, I'm just gonna put a little squirt here, and then a little squirt here. And for this part, I always use my finger, my fingers, to apply. I knew that it's not professional, I'm aware. Thank you. So, I'm just gonna put it on here. And I even put it on my eyelids just to get everything an even color. Once that's all rubbed in there, I'm going to rinse my hands off to get this off my hands here. And And now I'm going to start applying my um, eyeshadow and eye makeup because it will be good once we do the contouring to blend it all together and um, anything that comes off like any um, any like extra eyeshadow or whatever that comes off onto your cheeks you can just blend it all in so this is a physician's formula palette um, it's the Malibu strip slash pink sand bronzer um, it's a bronzer blush eyeshadow combo. You can use it for anything. So I'm just going to take some out of um, this section here with my finger and rub it on my eyelid here. And then I'm going to take some of the lighter section to highlight my brow bone here. Don't worry, don't worry, we're getting to the contouring part in just a moment. And then I've got my Naked Urban Decay on the Run palette here that I'm going to take some of the um, this brown color. I'm not really sure what, some hair on that. I'm not really sure what color that is, um, but I'm going to take some of this. Why is my hair everywhere? Stuck to everything. Anyways, I'm going to take some of that and then I'm going to just blend it in the corners of my eyelid. And we can blend it some more like after we're done with all the contouring and stuff, but put that on first and we'll do our eyeliner and mascara last. So now that I've got my eyeshadow on, um, we're going to start with the contouring process. So I have my Fit Me Shine Free Maybelline um, foundation here. It's just a little foundation stick. Okay, I'm going to use this as my highlighter, as my lighter color. Now you want to put it underneath your eye, down to your cheekbone here. And then the forehead, you want it in the middle of the forehead, down the center of your nose, also your lips and your chin, and then I put some here at the bottom. Okay, now we've got our highlighting on there. Next, what I'm going to use is I'm going to pull out my Naked palette again, um, and I'm going to use the bronzer that's right here. 
and I'm going to use that as my darker color. Now lots of times it is better to use, if you're going to use liquid um, as your brighter color, and uh, then you should be using liquid as your darker color too. It's easier that way, but um, I ran out of my liquid so we're using powder today. We're contouring, um, putting the darker colors on these sections of the face, like on the outside, at the top of your brow here. You're going to be blending all this together so it's not important that you know everything is super covered but here we go with what we have already contour then next you're going to either grab you can use a one of these blender brushes um, this is from Sephora um, it's an essence of beauty blender brush um, or I've got this brush that's a Sephora brush or also you could use one of the sponges like this to blend anything together. Okay, so now we're done with the contouring. You can add blush onto your cheekbones if you want to. Um, it doesn't really matter. Sometimes I just like to add like a little bit of highlight, um, maybe just a little bit of a shimmer powder or something just to make your cheekbones shine. You can also do the blush, whichever you would prefer. And then now I'm gonna do my eyeliner and um, just get set the whole look together. All right, so I've got my eyeliner here. It's my Maybelline Lash Stiletto Eyeliner. This is in black. It's got a little tip here. And I'm just gonna start from the outside and start doing my wing because I want slightly a little bit of a dramatic look. And now what you need to do is get a black eyeshadow and then a brush and we're going to use that to do underneath our eyes and to just kind of blend in um, the eyeliner that we just put on. So I've got my Nudes Maybelline palette and I'm going to use the black shade that's in here. And now I'm going to go back to my Physicians Formula, the lighter shade that I used on my lid. And I'm going to take some of the light shade here and use it for the crease. Now we're done with our eyeshadow and we're going to move on to the mascara. So I'm going to use my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara first. 
put that on as a base coat before I move on to my unique products that I use. Okay, so we're going to let that dry and then we're going to move on to our unique products. So the unique Moodstruck transplant gel stuff. And then after we put that on, we'll put on our fibers. Okay, so we're going to put on the uh, transplanting gel first. Transplanting gel again. Now we're all done. That's our full look for today. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you on the next video.